chums, Robert Ross here on the Comedy Historian YouTube channel. Welcome to this special little cinematic travel log. You find me in where else but Welling Garden City. And behind me, 70 years or so ago, would have been, believe it or not, an active film studio. Yes, I'm on Broadwater Road, where uh, the site was uh, from 1928 until 1950, Welling Studios. Now, have you heard of Welling Studios? Probably not, but it's very pioneering. It started out with a producer called H. Bruce Wolfe, Harry Bruce Wolfe, uh, who bought this uh, site in 1928 and was a real pioneer of British film. He was uh, one of the very first people to start making sound films in this country and also uh, pioneered the use of back projection right behind me. So, and also if it looks a little bit like Rear Window here, the Hitchcock classic Rear Window, well, it's now uh, apartment blocks and around uh, sort of 2012, 2013, they started constructing this into very uh, attractive apartments. And at night, this is very much like a Hitchcock film. And wonderfully enough, Alfred Hitchcock did indeed work at Welling Studios. In 1944, 45, he made a handful of propaganda films during the war years, including Bon Voyage. And in 1935, he shot the Scottish Highland scenes for his classic, The 39 Steps Here. Yes, behind me did become Scottish Highlands, with Robert Donut and Madeleine Carroll and that great scene, The Crofters with uh, John Laurie years and years, 30 years before Dad's Army, and of course, the soon to be uh, Dame Peggy Ashcroft. Um, but that was all shot here. So Hitchcock in 1935 was, was working here. And they really did make an amazing amount of films here. Um, uh, H.B. Wolf uh, eventually gave way to British International Pictures and that became Associated British. So if you see Associated British, chances are that it was shot here. So amazing films. James Mason in the thriller The Night Has Eyes for director Leslie Arliss was shot here. Uh, the Richard Attenborough film Brighton Rock, probably the most famous film, was made here in 1946. The classic, classic film. Uh, wonderful, wonderful films. Uh, James Mason, as I mentioned, worked here. Margot Lockwood. One of the most exciting things for me when I first discovered this was the actual site for Welling Studios was that Bela Lugosi worked here. Now, people who know these films will know my passion for old universal horror films. Bela Lugosi only made a handful of films in Britain, including the, uh, the pioneering of fledgling uh, Hammer films, The Mystery of the Murray Celeste, and of course the classic comedy horror Mother Riley Meets the Vampire with Arthur Lucan. Well, in 1939, Bela Lugosi was here making this little beauty. The Human Monster, that's the American title, but uh, in the UK it was known as The Dark Eyes of London, based on an Edgar Wallace story, and Bela Lugosi was here, right behind me. How exciting is that? I can do that. <laughs> With alacrity, because uh, he was here in 1939 making The Dark Eyes of London, which is one of my favourite Bela Lugosi films, a classic film. So there you are. I mean, ironically, as I mentioned at the top of this, um, it was a pioneering studio for sound British films. The one downfall they had was because of the noise around here. Um, over yonder used to be the uh, Nabisco shredded wheat, wheat factory, and uh, it stood for the National Biscuit Company, an American company. And they were uh, there from the uh, late 1920s right through to the start of this century. But of course, their five o'clock work hooter would interrupt shooting on the sound stages here. So they would work around the hooter over there. And over my shoulder there, was the railway station. So that was also a problem. It's right there, you probably hear a train going by now. Um, that was also a problem when they were trying to shoot sound films here. So eventually in 1950, they called it a day and a lot of the guys who worked here went over to Elstree Studios to work. And it was then sold to a tobacco company uh, in the 1950s and eventually, as I say, became apartments. So you can live in a, I'm trying to sell an apartment here. You can live in a little, little slice of British film right here. And if you want to resurrect some memories of those lovely films, a lot of them are on the uh, essential British film collection from Network DVD. Some great films that they've released on uh, DVD and Blu-ray. Uh, Tower of Terror, starring that great character actor, Wilfred Lawson, and uh, things like Quiet Weekend, Derek Farr, comedy. I've got a couple in my pocket, just for recommendations, pulled from the uh, Comedy Cottage vaults here. One is a... Uh, Gorgeous, creaky thriller called The Scotland Yard Mystery that stars Gerald de Maurier. Now, Gerald de Maurier was an actor-manager, great stage actor, and, of course, the father of novelist Daphne de Maurier, one of his very rare film appearances, and that's priceless just for that reason. And also, one of the very last films shot here was Murder Without Crime, 
starring the aforementioned Derek Farr and Dennis Price. That was shot here in 1950. So they're available. Check out the Network DVD collection on the British film label. And uh, to wrap up, of course, my all-time favourite comedy actor, Sidney James. He works here a few times too, right toward the end of the production run here, 1949, 1950. He made a couple of films. One, the classic Last Holiday with Alec Guinness, and the very, very last film put into production at Wedding Studios was a thing called Talk of a Million, a uh, Jack Warner Irish comedy with uh, Sid James, one of his early film appearances, was shot here as well. So it's... Uh, it's an amazing slice of, uh, of British comedy and film history here. So uh, please, if you're ever passing Welland Garden City, have a pop along to uh, Broadwater Road and see what's left of this wonderful old studio. And of course, be like Sid, if I can find it in my pocket, be good, be safe, stay well, subscribe to the Robert Ross YouTube channel, look out for the newsletter every month, look out for my social media on Twitter, Instagram and Facebook and wear your mask. See you soon.